for me, I drew everything out. If I didn't understand an equation, um, I remember I ended up creating a handout with a picture and then the corresponding equations labeled on the picture. Um, and then that handout ended up getting distributed to the class because nobody was understanding the concepts of multiple dosing. How do you calculate what your next concentration is going to be after the second dose or after the third dose? And so all the equations and math behind it, I just couldn't see it. And so after I finally drew it out with the help of my professor in there, then I got it and everything clicked. And so my recommendation would be if you can draw it out, draw it out. Um, that will help things, especially if you're a visual learner, that'll help things click a lot better. I would say if you want to be a good pharmacist or even an adequate pharmacist, you need to understand these things. You don't have to, you don't have to have your whole pharmacy career revolve around kinetics. But they're integral in everything we do, whether you're community or clinical or staff pharmacist, you need to understand the concepts. Honestly, I would say embrace it. And that's easy to say now um, after I hated it in school. But the reason why I say embrace it is you are the only profession that has taught pharmacokinetics, mm -hmm. which means that is job security. And in a time where everybody has access to Google, to Lexicom, Micromedics, medical residents, nurses can look up doses. They can look up dosage adjustments. We're having automated pharmacy services now. Computers are being pharmacists, essentially. So this is something that you can stand on that only you know how to do. So I would learn it. 